um, YouTube, this is Zero Nation, and um, if you're a Power Ranger fan, another Power Ranger fan, then um, this is the, um, I would actually try to tell you who the Power Ranger is itself, and put this should be pictures on the screen, just see, just um, what the old Power Rangers look like, what the new ones look like. It will actually be on the side of me or wherever side of me in the video. The originals and the new ones will be beside each other. And and for this video right here, I will be telling my opinion what the new Power Rangers movies should have and what they shouldn't have. And this Power Ranger movie right here, um, this should have the um. This, this actually show like more action more action and make the story moralize the story that um just just to um relate to people just to today be able to understand and um and be able to change around and, and be able and be able to change about certain stuff in the movie to me it sound like what's a person um what's the challenges what what's challenging each person going through and um the monsters and the monsters should be different than it was up in the first Power Ranger movie. It should be like the um the kanju monsters to be like um Godzilla and the Prime Ranger should be fighting those type of monsters and you try to save the world, everything like that. Like for the movies. Stuff like that. And for me, I will list all the rangers and the, the colors and the rangers next to them. I will name them. The red ranger is Dakri Montgomery. The pink ranger is Naomi Scott. The lower ranger is Becky G. And you might know her just for Empire. The, low, the blue ranger is Audrey Siler. And you might know him from I'm Earl. I think he was in that movie, if I'm wrong. If I'm right, there's too many comments. And the Black Ranger is Ludi Lynn. And um, these are practically unknown actors. They wasn't movies, but it's practically unknown to most people. And the action in the Power Ranger movies and this action sequence, like um this should seem that um this should push the envelope and um what the Power Rangers able to do. Because the Power Ranger actually got super strength and speed, and this actually show that. This actually show the abilities, and, um, how much super strength they had, how much speed they have, everything else like that. And um, and this should show like the suits, like back in the day, and um, the back in the day suits just in an updated version of the suits, to me. Because suits to me should be bulletproof, and and plus no gun should be able to penetrate that suit. That just me. That just to be like a pop, and the Power Ranger suits, and um, and this should show the morphing grid. I think to me because um, some people might not understand where the Power Ranger's powers come from, and everything else like that. That just me. And. And um, if you want to know the director of this movie, the the biggest director of the movie is Dean is Dean Israelite, and the and the writers is Shusuke Levi Levi I think. If if another writer is tell me in the comments, and um and um it put it first, and plus it if Dean Israelite probably could um modernize. The Power Rangers and make people actually inside it for the movie and um and just for me if you gonna um pro promote a Power Ranger movie um promote it the right way and stuff like that because um if you gonna bring back Zordon and Alpha please please don't bring back the floating head please don't do that. That's just me. Be because the floating head thing, I like the Zora and everything like that. But on the floating head thing, I think the meme was trying to like throw me off throughout the whole day. Cause 
don't get me wrong, I like the flunk head thing with Zodan head back in the day, but um, if there's Zodan, you could actually have two legs and two arms, it'd be like a different species, you can't find another planet, yeah, and plus, um, and plus this movie probably should show how Zodan picked the fire rangers also. Because the movie can actually show Zordon for storing powers onto these five from his big old command center and bring them there, something like um, Mega Force did when it first got started. That would be a good thing to me and, and bring the Rangers on together. And plus, this movie probably should show the challenges that each Rangers should have that working together. This to show the challenges and just other rangers, just other rangers work together, everything like that. Be, be, because the rangers won't work together at first, and um, this to show like the challenges, the challenges and the trials that um that rangers just had to go through to work together and save the world. To me, and f and for me, if this movie could bring me a good story and bring it to theaters, everything like that. I would actually look at the movie if the story if if the story for them promoting the movie is actually good that's just me if they can bring me a good story and good action everything in a movie it will be good if they can't bring me a good story and the promo not good I would not look at it I'm a fan of the show but, but the, um but um, please don't try to bring us any any type of thing to the movie or like that. And the fans of the show wouldn't appreciate it like me. Because for me, I'm actually a fan of the show. That's just me. And um, if they got to make it a three-part movie, and they got to make a three-part movie, do, do it something like an Avengers or something like DC. If you gotta make it dark, do like the DC song. If you gotta make it light, do like an Avengers. There's two type of things that they can do. But for me, like, uh, uh, I hope the primaries probably, probably can go the DC route. More darker, more action and stuff like that. Because, because I like Marvel way, but I also like DC way as well. And... And... YouTube if you enjoyed it and YouTube if you enjoyed the video like subscribe and comment and I see you on next video